artificial intelligence and realistically how companies are using it in their work. We've got three questions on the docket today, Craig. And the first one is how are companies actually using AI these days? The traditional ways make sense, right? Those kind of front end ones are there, you know, and, and I will say, I was going to jokingly say when you asked the question, not well, that's how companies are using AI right now. And, and part of it's because they kind of look at it from the singular focus of the front end. What's really more exciting is what's happening on the back end with AI. For example, in outsourcing, we're seeing supporting CX agents, so being like kind of virtual SMEs, more personalization for uh, inbound customers. So we're getting sentiment analysis and those kinds of things that are kind of feeding agents information so they know how to react better. Um, better call routing, so understanding who's coming to them and, and those kinds of things. And then also I think data management. And I will say on the data management, that's some excitement for us, especially when it comes to content moderation, because it's allowing our agents not to have to for lack of a better term, the dirty work of content moderation and being able to see if things flagged out and not having to see awful things all the time, oh, um, yeah. which is a great add on. To oh, AI. I got bad. So it's interesting to see that it's still very much in its infancy, isn't it? And I want to know, Craig, uh, how is AI going to affect the future of work? I'm definitely firmly in the camp of this isn't a job loss Armageddon um, with AI automation and AI work. I, I don't, I don't believe that. I think what we're going to see as AI and use of AI as a general term evolves, we're going to see a lot more automation of repeatable tasks. We're going to see some kind of fluctuation of the ways in which people are, are looking at how they use AI effectively, specifically ethically, which is a big hurdle for most folks right now. And so understanding how that kind of plays through will be, will be a lot of what we're going to see in the future. You're seeing litigation coming down now around that as well. One thing that's going to be really important is closed AI systems. Security is going to be a big thing. And so as you guys all know, and if you don't know, well, another little tip, don't just put anything in the chat GBT because it gets absorbed by the model. And oh, so yeah. uh, you need to be mindful of that. And so if you're using it for a client or somebody else, the closed system makes more sense. And really what I, I see, and I actually think that it's going to make I would say humans more human if that I know it sounds a little weird, but what it will do is it's not really going to replace humans. It's going to amplify the work that they do. So the stuff that's kind of I, I call it lower order thinking, the stuff that's a little bit monotonous that you don't need to do all the time. The AI will help us do those tasks, but then we'll be able to elevate and start to think on more strategic stuff. If you think about in the CX realm, agents won't just be working on password resets or, you know, something simple like that. They'll actually be working on how do I answer the problem as it's coming to me that allows us to really resolve that issue really, really quickly and at a higher level that you actually have to think about what you're doing, not just allow the bot to do it. It's that better together thing. Like it's going to be yeah. super powering. You know, it, it really is super powering to humans in general, what's happening with AI. Absolutely. We've got an upcoming episode actually titled Human in the Loop, where we'll talk about that a little bit more. A little teaser there for you listeners and watchers. But Craig, let's get into our final question here. And I don't mean to toot our own horn too much here, but I want to specifically talk about AI and Support Ninja. And how is Support Ninja starting to look at AI? And what are we doing to either implement it or move away from it as a company? For us at Support Ninja, we're definitely very specific in the way in which we approach it. And when I was making that joke earlier about not all companies do it well, part of it's because the way we approach it is that every time we implement an AI solution within our clients, it is specific to that client, their process, their system, their brand voice, the way in which they approach technology, how and what way they might want to implement a, a, a tool. And so it's very strategic in approach. And I think that's where others don't do this as well, I think, as we do, because the way we approach it, it's not so much of saying, hey, we're just going to throw AI on this thing and it's going to be better. It's really about the process, the system, the strategy that you're applying to make sure that we put the right tool in. So like specifically, for example, we had a client, they were an IoT devices, device client, um, 24 million devices all around the world. And they were realizing their CSAT scores were not so great. And we were realizing it had to do with a lot of the agents on their side and our side not having the right information at their fingertips. So we developed and worked with them and did a proof of concept of the NinjaBot, which is a, literally a virtual SME. But we did it with them and we made sure it, it aligned perfectly with what they were trying to achieve and it increased CSAT scores by like four, four to five percent over the very short period that we did it, which was only two months. And so it was real exciting for us to do it that way. But it's a very important step for us because it's all about what the client and how you use it. 
And that's a huge emphasis for me when we talk about AI. AI is a fantastic tool, but remember it's a tool. Um, what are you going to use it for and how will it be used effectively? And that's really our overarching strategy with it is finding the right tool for the right strategy that applies to our clients. Well, Craig, there it is. Three questions in the bag artificial intelligence and how it's affecting the future of work. If you want to learn more, go ahead and head on over to the resources section of the Support Ninja website to read the entire article that this episode was adapted from. Craig, thank you so much for your time today. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next one, y'all.